Every year, over 30,000 people from around the world travel to the Himalaya and make the 40 mile trek up to Mount Everest Base Camp. The annual climbing season transforms the vacant glacier into a sea of tents and is called home by roughly a thousand people. Namaste. I'm Mingma Tenjing Sherpa from Namsu Bazaar, uh, every season. Um, by profession, I'm a guide. We really have a big problem here at, at Everest Space Camp. The number of the human waste every year, I mean, it's been increasing and it's a big, serious problem. So. I got quite interested about the project and we've been working on this for almost eight years now. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to implement our project, processing the human waste into gas. We could gift the future generation a clean Everest and good environment. And we welcome more and more people in Nepal. As days turn to weeks, expedition teams acclimatize and patiently wait for their distant weather window. This creates a cycle of consumption which annually generates 26,000 pounds of human waste. My name is Dawa Yang Sherpa. I'm born in Rawaling Valley, which is west from the Everest region. I've been climbing for almost 10 years. Comparing all the oldest 8,000 meter I've been, I think the biggest base camp I've ever seen is Everest Base Camp, and I think we have a lot of this human waste. Do you know how much human waste is produced over um, these two months? I don't know how much, but it seems like a lot. <laughs> so now it's about 12 or 13,000 tons. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of food. <laughs> this toxic, antiquated method of dumping has been taboo to speak of and never properly addressed. But the Mount Everest Biogas Project has a solution. The prestigious UIAA Mountain Protection Award was given to the Mount Everest Biogas Project for their designing of a 100% self-sufficient human waste treatment system. The facility would be installed just below base camp at the nearby village of Gorak Shep. When constructed, it will be the world's highest altitude biogas digester. This system will biologically treat human waste while producing biofuel and fertilizer for crops. Got me to the top of Everest in 18 hours. <laughs> He's awesome. Hi, my name is Dan Mazur, and I'm a Mount Everest climber. I've led 12 successful expeditions to the summit of Mount Everest, and um, I'm going again as an expedition leader. Uh, I love climbing Mount Everest. It's a super exciting mountain. I've had some experience uh, in dealing with Mount Everest's problems. I've been involved in some rescues. Uh, I was involved in the rescue of Lincoln Hall and another rescue of Rick Allen. And over the years, I've seen a lot of different things happen on Mount Everest. I've also been awarded the Hillary Mountain Legacy Medal for my service to the environment and people of Mount Everest and also for doing a lot of Mount Everest climbing and rescuing. The Mount Everest Biogas Project, which is uh, trying to deal with the uh, 26,000 pounds, the 12,000 kilos of human waste which are produced by the climbers in Mount Everest Base Camp each April and May. The problem is getting much worse year after year and it's not being properly dealt with. Uh, right now, the human waste 
is being carried from the toilets of each base camp, of which there might be a hundred separate base camps at Everest Base Camp on the Kumbu Glacier. Though the human waste is being carried from those toilets by local porters who are paid very well for doing that, and they carry it to the side of the glacier and they dump it on the ground. It's not being treated any, in any way, and that human waste is leaking into the water supply. It's a terrible problem. It's a disgrace. These expeditions are well-funded. The members of the expeditions have plenty of money. Many people don't really know this is a problem. Dealing with human waste is a really difficult problem. It's kind of a taboo issue. It's an untold story. It's sort of a secret subject. No one likes to talk about it. When we approached the Nepal government, many people in the Nepal government didn't even know that the human waste was not being treated. They filled up, the porters who carry the human waste off the glacier have filled up every available hole on the side of the glacier to put the waste in. Now they have to carry it a long distance for like a half a day down below the nearest village to base camp. And then they walk over a small hill next to the Everest base camp trekking path and they dump it on the ground behind that hill. It's just a little way off the trail and it's not being dealt with at all. <laughs>